好，第十四條呢，就講冬蟲夏草啊，咁唔知幾多同學呢知呢一款嘅中藥啦。咁點解佢係冬蟲而夏草呢？就係、是、因為啦，有一啲真菌嘅孢子呢，就降落咗喺呢一啲蛾嘅幼蟲嗰樹，而之後呢，呢、這個孢子呢，就會喺呢個幼蟲嘅身體入面發芽嘅，跟住啦就會呢，喺嗰條蟲嗰樹呢，就生咗出嚟。咁其實雪川鳥呢，冬蟲夏草都只不過係隻真菌寄生咗喺個毛蟲上面，然後殺死咗佢啫。咁所以成個 concept 呢，就係 check 緊我哋有關於共生嘅概念。咁共生我哋學咗三款，一款係互利共生、片利共生同埋寄生。咁而家啦，你齋睇冬蟲夏草的故事，你已經知道啦。咁你見得到冬蟲夏草呢個例子呢，真菌係獲得好處，只毛蟲呢就受到傷害。咁所以個真菌嘅角色呢，就係一隻寄生蟲啦。而若果啦，下次佢問你咯，咁條蟲係咩嘅角色啊？就係、是、個宿主嘅角色啦。咁啊，當然啦，呢條題目呢，仲有其他變奏嘅，因為我哋仲有護理共生啊、騙利共生啊，仲有 predation 同埋 competition 唔同類型嘅生態系統嘅互。互动咧有得去问你嘅，所以咧生态系统呢一课咧系好多无穷例子嘅，但你未必喺本书见过噶，佢会有基本嘅资讯咧俾咗你嘅。So question fourteen is about the caterpillar fungus, which is a Chinese herbal medicine. So when the spores of the fungi land on the larva of the moth, so the spore will germinate inside the body of the larva and grow out of their heads. It means that caterpillar fungus is a hybrid of the fungi that kills and live in the caterpillar. So the concept checking in this question is clarify the concept of the symbiosis, including mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. So we can see that in this case, the fungi is the organism obtaining the benefit, and the moth larva got killed. So we can see that what is the role of the fungi must be the parasite. Of course, it can ask you that. So what is the role of the larva? They are the host. So any other possible variation of the question is still other ecological interaction among the organism in a community, predation, competition, mutualism, commensalism. We can ask you different relationship of the organism in the ecosystem. So that may be the cases you have never seen in the textbook, but the question will give you the necessary information.